Following Queen Margaret's abdication, Mary Donaldson will ascend the throne with her husband Frederick on January 14. A fact that marks the before and after because she will be the first queen of the world from Australia, Queen Margaret of Denmark was the absolute hero of the day on December 31, 2023. During her traditional Christmas speech, the monarch announced that she would abdicate in favor of her son Frederick on January 14. I will take a step back as Queen of Denmark after 52 years of reign, she declared. A decision that, while there have always been comments on its possible abdication, took citizens by surprise. In fact, not long ago Margaret confirmed that, like Queen Elizabeth II, her service to the crown is for life. However, health problems marked by back surgery and a desire to give space to a new generation prompted the Queen to take this step. A determination that will bring about great changes in the Danish royal house. Margaret's years on the throne began with something historic, as she was the first woman to become an independent queen in Denmark. And now a similar situation would repeat itself, Mary Donaldson, wife of Frederick and mother of his four children, would become the first Australian queen of the world. A fact that will mark the beginning of her reign and allow the current princess to make history. Thus, after several difficult months marked by controversy over her husband's photos with Genevieve Casanova, Mary will gain some stability and will be able to leave all the comments and rumors behind the true relationship of Queen Margaret and Mary Donaldson. Although Frederick will take the king's place, Margaret and Mary share the responsibility of being queens. Women in an institution that in some cases still does not allow women to rule as monarchs. The experience of the current queen could be the key to the changes the Australian woman will have to face in just two weeks. But what is their true relationship? Will Queen Margaret keep an eye on her successor? The truth is that the figure of Mary played a key role in the monarch's transformation towards Frederick. From an early age, scandals haunted the eldest of the queen's children, who was nicknamed the Turbo Prince by the media for being arrested for driving at high speed and drinking alcohol. Margaret's displeasure with her son's actions was obvious, and this extended to the many partners she had had over the years, however, it was Mary who stopped this spiral of tension and doubt between mother and son. As the queen learned that her son was dating an Australian woman, she welcomed her with open arms, albeit with some misgivings. Nice gestures and respect for the great efforts the Australian had made to adapt to the country were the main protagonists of the meetings between them. The most famous are the beautiful words that the Queen wanted to dedicate to the lawyer. We have met you and have seen your brilliant mind in all your actions. With warmth and dignity you have received us, your new family and all your new compatriots. You also inspire confidence, he said at the ceremony Mary Donaldson's resignation to become Queen. In May 2024, Federico and Mary will celebrate two decades as a married couple. A date that changed the Australian's life forever, because when the lawyer decided to follow the prince to his country and adjust to the rules of the monarchy, she had to resign a lot of documents. The first and most obvious was the need to leave his native country, as well as all his family and friends, and move to Denmark. Once there, he had to learn the language and adopt the prevailing religion of the country. He also had to leave his profession. Mary graduated with a degree in commerce and law from the University of Tasmania, which she completed with a diploma in advertising and marketing. Moreover, after leaving Australia, he never returned to training. 